Do you find that you have way too many end mills? No, I mean, like, way too many? Welcome to Making with Laz, and in today's episode, we're going to be using the great open source system, Gridfinity, to sort all these end mills out. So let's clear out those end mills out. And here are all our different modules. So we're going to quickly sort these guys out into their proper piles, and we'll go more in depth into each one right now. So here we have our first Gridfinity storage solution. It is one tall and three wide. So what this does is it stores the little cases of end mills or drill bits that you get when you purchase them online. So these ones came with the Carvera Air. So in total, it can hold three of these cases individually and a total of 30 different end mills or drill bits, whatever are inside of them. Next up, we have a one by one unit which is used to store eighth inch end mills. So if you wanna take them out of the cases we looked at previously, you can store them in this little guy here. In total, this can hold 15 individual end mills. So this next one is similar to the last one, except it is used for quarter inch end mills instead of eighth inch ones. This next one is another one by one unit, except this one is used to store the little canisters that your end mills come in. So I've designed two different versions of this. The first one here is a press fit, so the little canisters get pressed into there you need to take and then you just pull the little plastic piece off and remove the end mill the other option we have is a loose fit so with this one you can just pull the end mill out and take it with you so now we need to kind of sort all these end mills to their proper spots so in total i think i've got almost one of each end mill that carvera sells as well as a handful of ones i got from amazon a while back so the way i got most of these end mills are from pre-ordering the carvera air on kickstarter when it launched so doing that got me probably an extra 30 end mills, along with me getting the PCB kit, that got me some other ones as well. And then there are the ones that I've got in the past from Amazon for my previous CNC. So I've got a large assortment of bits from a bunch of different places. So now we're gonna start transferring the individual end mill cases into their little Gridfinity storage holders. Now that we've done the individual cases, we're gonna be transferring the individual end mills. So those were the quarter inch ones. Now we're gonna get our variety of eighth inch bits. So we're gonna be doing some corning bits first here. Then we're gonna move on to some of the PCB ones that came with the Carvera Air. Then we're gonna be doing some ball nose eighth inch end mills. And then here we got the drills that came with the PCB kit, but that is when I realized those drills are very small, and that's when I developed the case one that I showed you earlier. And we're just finishing up with some titanium bits, I'm pretty sure, and then a couple of the two flute end mills. And we also have the Carver Air stoppers and a spare collet as well. So now we've got our full collection of stuff. We're just going to need to transfer it over to the Gridfinity grid. So if you're enjoying the video so far, and you think you might use some of these different end mill or drill bit storage solutions, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd leave a like on the video, or if you'd comment on the video, or if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. What I'll be doing after is I'm gonna make sure all these files are on any of the maker sites they use. So they'll be on Thingiverse, the Bamboo one, or printables, so that no matter what printer you have, you'll be able to download them and use all the files. So there are gonna be two follow-up videos to this one. So one of them is going to be about making labels. So on each of these boxes, or most of them, you're gonna see that there's a little space in the front there that's kind of blank and that's kind of inset. So we're gonna be making some custom labels for each one of these so you're able to kind of identify what's in each one of these little containers. Then the second video we're gonna be making is a follow-up to this one where we're gonna be making more Gridfinity storage solutions for all of the stuff that come with the Carvera Air. So that's going to include the rotary axis, the laser module, as well as the PCB kit. And lastly, to end this off, I just want to thank the Gridfinity community. So that includes Zach Friedman, the one that developed this great system, and then the amazing people that keep the open source idea alive and make it really easy to develop modules for it. So it really did not take me that much time to kind of develop these because there's lots of generators and stuff that I was able to use to kind of modify a design and make it my own. So thanks to everyone that worked on those things. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and you think about downloading some of these. So just for the last couple minutes here, I'll leave the 
clip rolling and you can watch me finish sorting all the end mills. I'll see you next time. Enjoy.